With coaches, I've had probably three or four male coaches in my career. Now I'm on my first female coach. And not to say that you mustn't have a male coach ever, but it's definitely a lot easier talking to a female about it, obviously, because they've gone through it at their, their own period at their life at some point. Um, but my advice for going through a male coach is just sitting them down and just being like, look, I know this is kind of gross to talk about because some people find it disgusting and it shouldn't be a disgusting topic, but this is what I'm going through. This is how I found that I can cope with it. If you can please just cut me some slack when I'm going through it, that'd be appreciated because I'm trying to do my best here. You're trying to get my best out of me. And if we're trying to do two different directions of trying to get my best this way and you're trying to do it that way, you're never going to meet at the top to try and get that goal together. So I think if we're able to, you know, sit, have those, those tough conversations with, uh, whether it's male or female staff, anyone, really as many people that can know what you're going through and how to support you through it. I think that's the best pathway forward because I try to keep it to myself in the beginning and that just wasn't helping. If we go back to the way that we need to communicate with support staff and coaches and all that field outside of your family, it's better the athlete does it because you know, they, number one, they know their pain, they know the way their body reacts and they know what works. You know, mum can't, you know, tell me what my body needs because she's not in it. But another thing is like putting the chronic illness aside, it's better for that athlete coach or athlete support staff bond that you talk through yourself because um, once a parent gets involved, um, in like solely involved, it's gonna be a relationship between your parent and your coach. It's not between yourself as an athlete and your coach or support staff. And that's probably the best way for you, number one, to build your relationship as a coach and an athlete, or number two, just so that they can understand the way that you go through things. And then it's a lot easier for them to connect with you on how you're supposed to recover from those, you know, those bad days and how to push you on those good days and take advantage of those good days.